Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export all of your WooCommerce products using WP All Export, edit the inventory in bulk, and then import the inventory changes using WP All Import. So on this site, we have six variable products with different sizes and colors. Let's go ahead and create a new export here. And we'll choose WooCommerce products from the dropdown. You can add filtering options, but we don't need to, so we'll cust go ahead and customize the export file. And we're just doing inventory changes, so we'll delete the content out of here and grab stock from the product data. Then we'll scroll down here and get the size and the color elements. And I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. Okay. Down here you can change your export file options. We're going to do a spreadsheet. You could do CSV or XLS. We'll do an XLS file for this example. And continue. And go ahead and run the export. Which shouldn't take too long. Okay. So let's open that up. And here's all of your products. Need to enable editing. Okay, so here's all the products, the inventory right over here on the right. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to edit the Digi Plaid variation of the board sack. So all the stock right now is set to two, so I'm just going to put some random numbers in here. Okay, go ahead and save this and move back to Manage Exports. And we'll hit Import with WP All Import on the right upload the file that you just edited and go ahead and continue and when you use this method all of the settings right here are going to be filled in for you so you really don't have to do anything except for just continue until you can run it and then run the import okay let's run it and I'm gonna skip ahead while this runs alright all done so we'll go to the board sack and we will check the DigiPlaid variation. Okay, page two. And stock one, nine. So there you go. Updated the stock. So that's how easy it is using WP All Export to export your WooCommerce products, edit the inventory in bulk, and then import your changes using WP All Import. 